Dakota Wade is an extremely talented singer and songwriter, and today she just released her brand new track called Hashtag You Are Not Alone. This is in perfect time for Mental Health Awareness Month, and this song has some great lyrics talking about mental illness, as well as letting people know that they're not alone in their struggles. So in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about her song, and then I'm gonna take a test to see if I am perpetuating the stigma of mental illness, so stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And Coda Wade is my girl. Like she's not really like my girl like we've talked a couple times but she's super cool. And like I'm so 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 happy to see an artist talking about mental health. Um, some of you who follow my channel, uh, I've done some other lyrical breakdowns. I try to talk about pop culture and when they talk about mental illness as well as addiction and things like that like because it's a conversation that needs to happen, all right? So before I get started and talk a little bit about the lyrics of her song, do me a favor and share this video. Share this video because I'm also gonna link to Coda's music video down below and more people need to listen to this song because first off, amazing song. Second off, she's amazing. And third off, she's helping to increase some awareness and let people know that they're not alone. So make sure that you share this video on social media, all right? But anyways, um, I just went back and I listened to her song again. Uh, it was great and so, I found out about this song from my beautiful girlfriend. She follows somebody on Instagram. I forgot her name. It's one of Coda's friends, but she like does modeling for Hot Topic. And my girlfriend's like, yo, this artist Coda Wade is doing a music video and she's asking people to like make signs, you know, talking about uh, their mental uh, illness diagnosis, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll jump on that train. So uh, yeah, I submitted my, my picture and check it out. Boom! I'm all up in that video. Code is holding a picture of me. Um, but yeah, a bunch of people from all over the world, like literally all over the world, submitted these pictures. And it's such a, a powerful statement too. Like so many people who are struggling with mental illness, they, they feel alone, they feel isolated. And a lot of times it's because of the lack of awareness, some of the ignorance around mental illness. So a lot of us feel isolated and by ourselves inside of our own homes. Like our parents don't understand. For some of you, it might be your spouse who doesn't understand, you know? And that's one of the beautiful things about the internet. A lot of people talk trash about the internet, but like if it weren't for the internet, powerful statements like this would never happen. We wouldn't be able to b bring people from all over the world and say, look, like I got mental illness too. So, you know, a big shout out to everybody who was featured in this video and submitted your pictures or videos. Like that is awesome. It takes a lot of strength and courage to do that. And it sends a powerful message. But in the song, Coda talks about, you know, some of her struggles with uh, mental illness, you know, the thoughts that run through her head and you know, how it feels alone and like, it, it's it's great to hear her talk about it, but I don't want to spoil it for you. I don't want to spoil it for you. You need to go click on the link down below and check out the full music video, okay? And one thing that surprised me when I was doing some research, I'm like, who is this Coda Wade gal, right? Like, she was actually on season nine of The Voice. And you know what? Fun fact about Chris, I love The Voice. Real quick, let me tell you. Like, I love watching the blind auditions. Like, if you're having a bad day, Oh, just watch the blind eye auditions of The Voice. So, Coda did this video in conjunction with, I believe, um, CureStigma.org, all right? So I was like, what's CureStigma.org? And it is run by the National Alliance on Mental Illness. And I went and I watched their video, and like, it, it, they have a great video on their website. Like, it's talking about this disease that you can catch anywhere and stuff, and basically it's talking about the stigma around mental illness. I was like, dang. So I was checking out the website, and it says, have you been infected by the stigma? And I'm like, you know what? I might be, I don't know. Like. I think it's important for all of us to get out of our, our, our little bubble. You know, so many of us, because of our ego and things like that, we're like, oh, I'm doing the best out there and da 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 but sometimes like I'm screwing up and I don't even know. So I thought it'd be fun if you went on this little journey with me and watch as I take this test to see if I've been infected by the mental health stigma, all right? So let's get started. All right, start Cure Stigma quiz. Let's see what this is all about. So question number one, I think P 
people with mental illness, A, need to snap out of it, B, did something wrong to cause it, C, need our love and support, D, are sometimes faking it. Okay, this is a tough one. I'm gonna make a video on this at some point, so I hope you're subscribed. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't like saying like, you know, are sometimes faking it. I think that every claim of mental illness needs to be taken seriously, okay? Um, I do feel part of the, the issue, wait, 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 that's the wrong way to phrase it. I think that there is an issue because mental health is getting some more visibility. Some people are saying, you know, oh, I have anxiety when it's really just stress. Or people are like, oh, uh, I, I'm suffering from depression, but they're really just kind of bummed out. You know what I'm saying? So I do think it's overused in some cases, but like I said, all instances of mental illness where people say they have it need to be taken seriously. So I'm gonna say C, they need our love and support. Question number two. Which of the following is a myth about stigma? It makes people feel alienated or feel less than. B, it's not really a big problem for people with mental health conditions. Y'all tripping. C, it prevents people from seeking help for symptoms. D, it makes people fear judgment if they share their story. Dang, dang, this, this question drops some truth. So I'm gonna go with A, it makes people feel alienated or feel less than. Question number three. If someone in your family is diagnosed with a mental illness, you should A, treat them differently than you used to. What? B, distance yourself from them. C, feel sorry for them. D, listen to them and show support. Dang. Okay, so I'm picking D. By the way, if I didn't mention it earlier, share this video. Um, I had somebody just ask me yesterday, they have a friend who struggles with uh, depression and they don't know how to help. And like, this is a great question. Like, because D, and I hope I'm right by the way, D like, listen to them and show support. I, wouldn't, I need to make videos on this. I don't make enough about this topic. But yeah, a lot of times people struggling with mental illness, like I think people feel this need to fix them and if they can't fix them, then they either C, feel sorry for them or B, distance uh, themselves from this person. And like a lot of times these people just need you to listen. Just shut your mouth, shut your mouth and just listen. Typically, that is the best thing that you can do. How old are you? I didn't know this was gonna be on the quiz. 30 to 50, like, geez, can you put like 30 to 35? What the heck? What is your gender? Uh, male. Want to learn more about how to spread the cure for stigma? Type your email here. Sure, why not? And by the way, as I type this in, if any of you would ever like to get in touch with me, if you need to talk or if you have topics that you want me to cover in a future video, boom, you're staring at my email address right now, all right? Uh-oh, looks like you might have the stigma. What? What? I promise to change my behavior to support everyone affected by mental health conditions. I won't use harmful words that prevent people from seeking help. That's how I will hashtag cure stigma. All right, y'all. I'm a little, I'm a little conflicted about the results. So is this one of those websites where like, no matter what, it gives you the same, the, the, the same answer? Like, is it? Or did I really like do something wrong in there? Here's what we're gonna do. Let's play this game, okay? If you think that I answered one of those questions incorrectly, leave a comment down below. Rewind if you have to. Let me know which answer you think I got incorrect. Because like, I, I've mentioned this before. The best people in your life are people who tell you what you need to hear, not what you wanna hear, all right? So like, am I perpetuating the stigma? Did I just, did I just realize something? I don't know. Leave comments down below. Let me know what happened. Or, or, do this. You go to the website, you put your email address in, and you take the test, and let me know what your results are down below. All right? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do a little bit of both. Okay? Um, but anyways, anyways, again, um, Coda, you are amazing. Thank you for such an awesome opportunity and this song. Like, I appreciate what you are doing. And... And Coda, if you happen to see this, 
I live in Las Vegas. I think you live in the LA area. So if you ever want to collab, I'm out in LA sometimes and that would be awesome. So hit me up. You got my uh, Instagram, all right? <laughs> but anyways, everybody, Again, please share, please share so people um, can check out Koda's video so we can help to end the stigma about this thing, but also to show people that they're not alone in their mental health struggles, all right? So please, please, please do me a favor, share this on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, send it out on an email blast to everybody, whatever you gotta do, okay? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. And if you want to check out some more content on this channel, boom, you can click or tap right there. All right. So thanks again so, so much for watching. Remember, hashtag you're not alone. I'll see you next time.